freedom as a foundation of morality. So, I already talked about it kanina. Diba? That animals cannot be ethical. But, meron naman ako another friend ganyan. So, this is a robot ayan, and an animal. So, for animals, one of the reasons why um, animals cannot be ethical or, or um, moral is that because they do not have autonomy or they are not autonomous or they are not really, really free. Hindi sila ganun ka free. So as a robot is, syempre, we build robots for our benefits. And no matter how beneficial a robot is, yung functions niya and yung knowledge niya is ano lang siya, limited lang siya. And hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na this too were moral because they do not have bo- or they both do not have freedom. And yung mga robot, they do not have any choice. Kasi kung ano lang yung nakaprogram sa kanila, yun lang yung susundin nila. Diba? So, basically, freedom yan, is part of morality. And basically, morality is a question of choice. And also, choosing the ethical codes, values, or standards to guide us in our daily life. Yun yung trabaho ng ating morality. So as choosing freedom or choosing things is impossible without freedom. Kaya magkasama si morality and freedom. Kaya siya naging foundation ng morality. So the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. So that is the meaning of freedom. So as a person that know or who has a concept of morality, yan, we have the right to choose even if it is different from others. So that is the reason why morality is a freedom or um, free, freedom is the foundation of morality because we have the right to choose even if yung choice natin is different from other people. So, for example, in our daily lives, ayan, di ba? Kung ano ba yung choice mo or kung ano ba yung nangyayari sa buhay nyo or buhay natin, that is the cause or that is the product of what are the things that we choose. Okay? Um, I don't know if you're in this part na, but maybe some of you at this point, before you went to college, huminto muna kayo. Before you try taking up your course, um, you fail and you fail first dun sa ibang course muna. Or, before you enroll in this institution, nag-try ka muna sa ibang tao. Or, nag-try, I mean, sorry, nag-try ka muna sa ibang institution. Which, we, in which, it is our choice. So, as, kung ano man yung nangyayari or ano man yung meron sa buhay natin at this point, that is because of our freedom to choose. And, um, we people ayan, make our choice or make our choice to give, to laugh, to be happy. Ayan. And in our everyday life, we tend to choose. And those choices require freedom. And freedom requires morality. So, um, in everyone or everyone who wishes to function morally and rationally in a society, in this society, has first to make choice or make choices every minute 
of the day, which is true. Siyempre, um, simple problem man yan, simple decision making man yan, we have the right to choose. That is the, that is why there is freedom. And applicable din siya sa pagpili, di ba? Applicable din siya sa pagpili ng mga uupo or mamumuno sa ating government. Yung vote natin as a uh, Filipino citizen, yung mga pagboto natin sa kung sino mang um, politician yung napupusuan natin na tumak- o yung mga tumatakbo during elections, ayan, we have freedom to choose them. Hindi naman nila sinabi, oh, I choose mo ko. Ako, ako. Ayan. They, we have also the freedom to choose so as um, the principle of ethics or the principle of freedom in ethics applies to everything in the society or even when yung motive natin is pure. And ano kaya sa tingin nyo yung mangyayari if the, there is an unlimited freedom in a society? And I want you to I want you to give your own perspective if paano kaya ang isang society if there is an unlimited freedom. Ayan. Kindly um answer that on our Google Classroom. And so the next one, we have the minimum requirement for morality which is the reason and impartiality. So, number one, we're going to define what is reason first. So, we have reason, a cause, explanation, or justification for an action or event. So, there would be means na, sabi nga nila, lahat ng bagay na nangyayari sa buhay mo, meron siyang rason. Ayan. So, which means, yun na yung cause. Kung bakit or paano nangyayari yun. And, in ethics, reason entails that human human have feelings ayan, or human feelings may be important in ethical decision but they ought to be guided by a reason. Katulad na lamang ng dilemma natin. Ayan. Hindi, um, I posted this para, hindi para bumalik or mag-review ng dilemma but to give you an example. So, you are a conductor of a train and you've suddenly lost control of and about to crash on a group of five bystanders who didn't know that the train is about to come. The bystanders will be definitely killed by the impact if the train crashes unless you hold the switch that will divert the train into another track. But if you divert the track of the train, it will crash into an innocent man is sleeping. So, ayan. If you use your um, feelings as a human being sa pag um, de-decide dito, is may hirapan ka. But, if you consider a reason why does you you will go for a five bystanders or you're going to uh or kung ililigtas mo yung five bystander dun sa isang innocent man di ba so it would help you to decide ano ba yung magiging action mo in this part or in this dilemma um in this problem rather so as reason helps us also na i-evaluate yung feelings natin so as um it also helps us to decide and to know what is the right and what is wrong okay so because of reason it helps us na ma-correct yung ating actions toward other things or towards our decision so as it helps us na um, ma-prevent yung rush na or yung ano ba, harsh na decisions natin in life. Ayan. And because of reason, um, 
we human beings realizes many things. Ayan. So as another thing is impartiality. Sa impartiality, you always remember this that it is also called as even-handedness and fair-mindedness. As you can see, there is a part dito. Wait lang ha. Ayan. There is a term even dito sa first part and dito ay merong fair-mindedness. So, pag sinabi natin even and fair, that is equal. Or equal siya. Walang labis, walang kulang. So, si impartiality, it is an idea or it, it involves the idea that tayo, tayong mga tao or tayong humans or each individuals has an interest and point of view. And yung interest na yun and point of view na yun ay importante regardless of what regardless of ano man yung reason mo regardless kung ito man ay tama or mali it's because in impartiality impartiality pantay pantay walang labis walang kulang and it is a principle of justice holding that decisions ought to be based ayan our decisions or justice should holding that decisions ought to be based on the objective criteria objective criteria rather than the basis of bias ayan syempre um being reason and impartiality as a minimum requirement for morality ayan so Pagdating sa impartiality, we should be objective. Ayan. We should know first the very reason why, bakit ito yung ating kailangang decision rather than dun sa isa pa. So as, hindi tayo pwedeng maging based, bias. It's because impartiality is about being even or being fair. Or on the other note, being equal. And hindi tayo dapat mag-judge agad-agad and hindi dapat natin titingnan what would be our benefit or what would be the benefit of other people when it comes to the decision making. So, kailangan kung ano man yung reason nung una, kailangan mo mo ding tanggapin yung reason Nung pangalawa, bakit nagaganap yun? And after that, saka ka mag weigh in on your decision. So that is the reason why impartiality and reasons are the minimum requirement for morality. They are also requirement for morality but minimum lang siya. Ayun. So with that regards, kindly check our Google Classroom and let's have your long quiz um good luck everyone and take care